Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie Caitlin and my channel name is The Stylish Man. Welcome to a day in the life of a medical intern in internal medicine. So I'm just going to show you guys what my days look like during my internship. I'm currently in my intern no medicine rotation which has been which is 12 weeks long i'm in week 10 now so i have two more weeks left of internal medicine i've done gastroenterology cardiology a whole lot of other specialties and i'm currently in nephrology so let's get the day started the bag that i'm carrying to work today i've been using this bag for like two weeks now um, and in my bag i usually just have my purse which goes this side and my portable charger or power bank, which goes this side, and then obviously the cable should go with that. And then I have some Vaseline to moisturize my lips and my hands because I do wash my hands a lot. And then I have uh, wipes and I have a pencil in case I need to take down any side notes. And then I have my pen. I'm tired of having my pen stolen, so this is how I labeled my pen. <laughs> No one is trying to steal from me now. And then I have a spear pen in case the devil tries me. And then I just have a roll stick to keep my frost smelling good. And then my car key also goes in there. My work phone also goes in here. It's not hospital um, issued. This is my own personal work phone, like for my business. And yeah, just gonna close this. And then we can go. So I'm just gonna make rolls, steak rolls, and put cheese, butter, and some salad stuff on them. Outfit of the day is purple scrubs. I'm wearing slides at the moment. My work shoes are actually in the car. I did them in there, so um, yeah, let's go. So every morning at 7.30 we have the doctor's meeting and that is where I am heading right now. So the anti-corrosion here, the rule is that one. Doing an ABG. Cafe. Yeah, and then put it in. Yeah, that's fine. See, okay. And then it's gonna. Well, yeah, there we go. So it is just before, actually it's just after lunch time, oh it's lunch time but it's like one twenty. normally lunch, lunch is at 1 but um, yeah things ran late today, today was such a busy morning I couldn't actually film much and I mean not that I can film much anyway in the hospital but today was actually extra busy um, after morning meeting which starts at 7.30 and ends like around 8 we had our grand round which happens every monday wednesday and friday and grand round is basically when all the doctors go and see the admissions from the previous night or the morning and we discuss the admissions and discuss how to manage them and the doctors roast the students and you get grilled that ask questions that usually you don't know how to answer <laughs> 
And then, um, but I actually enjoy Grand Rounds because they're very informative and educational and I learn a lot. I think most of my learning has come from Grand Rounds rather than actual reading from my books. And then after Grand Rounds, we have our normal ward rounds, which is when the doctors see their own patients. And then, um, so during the rounds, you use your patients, manage them, um, treat them, and then you do like blood work if you have any scans and just reviewing your cases. And that usually takes long depending on the team you're in. Currently, mine is one that's actually quite busy. So, yeah. And then after that is lunchtime. And then after lunch, you come back and you just, you know, chill in the ward. If there's something to do, you do it. But afternoons are usually pretty chilled and sometimes we can go home. Um, unless, again, you're in a very busy team. And so I'm just heading home now and I'm gonna see if I'll come back for the evening call or not. Hey guys, so it is around 6 p.m. and I'm about to head to the hospital going for an overnight call. The calls actually start at 4.30, but because I'm not the main person, I can pull up a little late, you know. And so usually what happens is from 4.30 to the next morning at um, 8 a.m you'd be on call so you could either be at the hospital you can be at home and then whenever you get called you go in but we're just gonna go to the hospital and be there until if it's not busy i can probably come back and so uh nothing special that i'm wearing i'm wearing tights a jersey have my call bag and i'm wearing slippers because i'm gonna wear my work shoes when i get to the hospital keep them in the car and yeah, let's see if anything exciting, interesting happens. Off shoes. So I just got to the hospital, walking up to the ward now. And I'm gonna see what's there. I just did an acidic tap. Now I get to clean up. So I'm just gonna put these guys aside and then these we rinse and then also leave them by the side. to head home i've had such an interesting call it's <laughs> home and i'll tell you guys all about it so i just got home um it's a little after midnight and so basically i'm gonna be home i'm gonna sleep and if i get called for something then i'll wake up and get back to the hospital but there's really no point in me just sitting there waiting if in case nothing happens or in case something happens rather and so i'd rather just come home and sleep if they call me they call me if they don't they don't and so basically that's how it works here yeah. and um there's there's always three doctors on call there's an intern and medical officer and then the specialist on call so like intern first and second on call and then we just tag along because we're basically still students, right? And um, yeah, so got to the ward and there was a patient with like low, 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 low BP of 47 over something. But he was very asymptomatic. He wasn't showing anything at all. And uh, he also had like massive ascites or ascites, whatever you want to call it. And so we did an acidic tap on him. And then um, after that, there was another patient with hypertension. His BP was like 236 over 117 or something like that. And 
then that was corrected and then um, we went to uh, the emergency department to see if we had any admissions for medicine because I'm in the oh by the way I'm in the internal medicine department right now and so when we got there there was two there were two admissions for the medical ward and then while we were there we saw like other cases so those guy who got stabbed in the head so they were fixing him up that was so interesting and there were two orthopedic surgery cases and you guys know I love 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 ortho so we got to reduce and I got to put a, um, a plaster cast on the one she was a child and then the other one was an old man with an acromyoclavicular and then after that um, what else happened a lot happened but like that's basically like the exciting stuff everything else was just pretty you know standard taking bloods doing cannulas adjusting meds running fluids the basics and so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I tried to show you guys as much as possible what happens in a typical day as an intern or as a final year student who studies in China or studied in China. I don't know how to term this because technically I'm studying in China but I'm not in China so yeah. <laughs> um, I tried to show as much as possible but it's not always possible because you know patient confidentiality and all that. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>